Hey everybody, it's Dive Girl Deb. Well, yesterday we had a little bit of a setback. <laughs> and you're going to have setbacks when you're dealing with older projects. But it all got handled and it got handled really well. So yesterday I was laying under here and the, just finishing up putting these brakes together. Put the wheels on. Trailer's still on jack stands so that I could spin the tires. And I was adjusting the brake tension here. And I took a gander over and saw some rust here on the edge here. I wasn't too worried about it. But I thought, well, I should check that out because I hadn't looked at that yet. So I grabbed my ball peen hammer and I started pounding. And look at what I found. Dun 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 dun. All kinds of holes. This thing's rotten all the way through. Oh no. I stood there for 30 minutes going, holy cow. Now what are we going to do? Man. Susie and Tom have been the most gracious hosts and taking good care of me and feeding me and offering me their shop and tools and assistance and we got those brake flanges welded on and the tie downs welded on and I kind of wanted their part to be done. And then we saw this. And it gets worse. Look at this. So this entire beam here is all rusted through. See? That's the beam. Right there. And then the next one and the next one. And I was like, holy cow, look at this. This is quarter inch box steel. This is not small metal. You can see here, look how thick this steel is. And to have that rust all the way through, this thing had to have been full of salt water and just sat. And this trailer is a 2010. So it's really not that old. It's just somebody did not take good care of it before it got to Tom and Susie. Now they've had it stored out here under this carport area here. And um, so I know that this is not a result of what they did. Uh, this happened before they got the boat and they were absolutely not aware of it. But being the really great and wonderful people they are, Tom says, let me think about what kind of steel I have out in the yard. Let me see what I can do. Deb, you keep working on your electrical, <laughs> putting any lights on and doing your stuff, and I've got this. What a gentleman. What an amazing guy to just jump in. So he ran to the shop and bent up three of these frames right here and came out and welded them in in no time. And his design has um, an open bottom, so it's not going to retain water. And boy, I feel so much better going down the road now, knowing that this boat is going to be supported. And I'm not going to have to dick around with this later. So, boy, that was that was a close call there in that one. But once again, Tom jumped in and saved the day. So, I went to the store. Yep. Um, got him a bottle of Jameson's to say thank you so much for all his amazing work <laughs> and his eyes just lit right up he was a very happy guy we had a couple of cocktails last night and celebrated the victory of finally getting this boat together so wow this has been quite a journey um, and I'm sure there's going to be other surprises yet to come. <laughs> but, you know, I can't complain. I um, got more than my money's worth. And um, I am really absolutely in love with the boat. So, here's to you, Tom. Cheers to craftsmen, sailors, and new good friends. So, thank you, buddy. You rocked. You got me out of a hard spot. And um, I think gonna get me down the road so we we're really worried about this because the keel is 3300 pounds and we don't want that being supported by this timber up here which would mean just the fiberglass would be holding that keel up in the air and it would probably be breaking the boat apart at the end of the day so it really did have to get 
done before I left. Um, especially with me going so far. But I totally struck it rich with some amazing people that are compassionate and caring. And um, clearly they did not know about this. I, I am 100% sure that they did not. Um, so no blame at all on their part. It is what it is, and we got it patched up, and I kept <clears throat> my wiring, got the wheels back on, the brakes set up, brakes are adjusted, and um, yeah, it's just it's starting to look really good, and I'm pleased with it. A few more things to do, and um, yeah, so today, um, so we did that yesterday, and today I um, slid the mast forward closer see it scooted it up about 10 feet so she's not hanging off the back there and I laced up all of the rigging so I won't have stuff flopping around and um, so I think that's pretty good shape for transportation it doesn't look pretty but that's all right I didn't want to cut any of that stuff because I want to see where those lines go so that when I get ready to replace them, I'll learn about, you know, how it was set up before. And that's going to help me to kind of cheat a little bit to, to go back. Um, and I have been fighting electrical on this trailer all day, but I think I finally have that worked out. Uh, we got a new jack on the front here, which works beautifully. And... Um, I think it's pretty good odds that I'm going to be able to hit the road tomorrow, which is Monday, which will put me about seven days, because I left last Monday from my house and got here Tuesday. So, trailer's looking great. Um, <clears throat> had a few bugs to work at in the morning. Um, I still need to do the framing inside. I got our new sign put up back here. It's hard to see with the uh, stanchion, but it says, Caution, Slow Boat to Eugene, home of the Flippin' Lime Foundation. And I mainly wanted that on the stern, just so that uh, I wouldn't have people trying to tailgate me and force me to go faster. Uh, I do have a red flag up there on the top of the antenna. We tried to unbolt that last bit of the antenna, but it just seized on there. He, put me up in the petty bone and I could not break it loose so we're just gonna leave it I think it's too tall to hurt anybody <clears throat> got my trip permit on the stern so I'm legal to be on the road and um, yeah so we're getting there um, I think she looks pretty freaking good to be honest with you all things considered, my body is trashed. I'm sore. My knees are bruised from kneeling down and working on stuff. But it's all actually been a lot of fun and a delight for me to work on her and get prepared. <clears throat> uh, this morning I had the um, boat on the truck uh, ball and all the weight off of the trailer um, prop. And the truck sits nice and level. She does not squat. Um, so the trailer is very well balanced weight-wise with not a lot of excess tongue weight. So she looked really good. Everything looks nice and even. And I'll do a little video tomorrow and show you guys that. But it's coming right along. I think uh, by Wednesday she'll be home in Eugene is my guess. But um... A few bugs to work out tomorrow with electrical, and then I'll get some framing going inside, and then we will load up all the materials, surplus materials, not surplus, but all the bits and pieces and parts and stuff onto the boat, and um, test the brakes out, make sure those are working, and then I'm going to do a slow creep home. <laughs> Just mosey home real gently, about 50 miles an hour. Just take it easy. And um, if I got to take a couple, three days to get home camping, I'm fine with doing that. But 
it'd be nice to get some miles under us and start making headway back to the homeland. So that's the latest. Um, I'm just so immensely grateful to Susie and Tom. I mean, I just cannot express enough gratitude for these most amazing, cool people. So, <laughs> Jameson, was, and a case of Jameson was earned. <laughs> if, I, if I could afford a case of Jameson, I'd, I'd have that shipped down to him. Because these people are absolutely the sweetest, coolest people I have met in a very long time. And hopefully someday they will come up to Eugene and have an opportunity to stay with me. And um, we'll drink Jameson there too. So cheers to you guys. Um, cheers to Tom, man. What a worker. He uh, absolutely saved the day. And Susie, you're an amazing hostess. I feel so blessed to get to know both of you. So I love you guys. And um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.